Today's question is, why was Jesus born in a manger? In this video, I'll answer that question from a biblical perspective. Then afterwards, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around until the end. It is a common saying at Christmas time that Jesus Christ was born in a manger. Of course, it wasn't possible for him to actually be born in the manger, but that's where Mary laid him after his birth, Luke chapter 2, verse 7. Although we are not sure of the exact location where Jesus was born, we do know that it was in Bethlehem and that there was a manger or feeding trough there. God promised the Savior's virgin birth immediately after mankind's first sin in the Garden of Eden, Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. Hundreds of years later, the prophet Micah foretold the birth of Christ in the small town of Bethlehem. But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. Micah chapter 5, verse 2. This prophecy was fulfilled when Jesus' earthly parents, Mary and Joseph, were called to Bethlehem for a census of the entire Roman territory. While they were in Bethlehem, the time came for Jesus to be born. Because of the crowds that had come to Bethlehem, there was no room at the inn for Mary and Joseph. Luke chapter 2, verse 7. While tradition says that the inn was a sort of hotel, we don't know that for sure. In fact, the Greek word translated inn, kataluma, could be translated guest room. This fact has led some to believe that Jesus may not have been born in a stable or barn, but in a house with a lower floor serving as a nighttime shelter for the family's animals. If that were the case, it wouldn't be surprising to find a manger located in that area of the house. When Luke states that there was no room in the Kaluma, he could mean there was no room on the upper level, which would have been full of other people sleeping. In any case, Jesus was born at night in some sort of keeping place for animals. After Jesus was delivered, Mary, his mother, wrapped him in cloths and laid him in a manger. Later that same night, shepherds from nearby fields found him just as the angels told them they would. So, why was the Savior and King born in a place where animals were kept? And why was he then laid in the animal's food trough? Surely God's Son deserved a high-profile birth in the most elegant of surroundings. But instead, God's own Son made his appearance on earth in the lowliest of circumstances. This humble birth conveys an amazing message to creation. The transcendent God condescended to come to us. Instead of coming to earth as a pampered, privileged ruler, Jesus was born in meekness as one of us. He is approachable, accessible, available. No palace gates bar the way to him. No ring of guards prevents our approach. The King of Kings came humbly, and his first bed was a manger. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content and check out the details section below this video. There you'll find one book I recommend along with several links to related questions. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, got questions? The Bible has answers. We'll help you find them.